Let's compare the fractions 3 eighths and 1 eighth. We're trying to figure out which one is bigger. What's the same about these two fractions? The 8. These two fractions have the same denominator or like denominators. And remember, when you have a fraction, you're thinking about a whole, like a whole cake or a whole rectangle or chocolate bar or pizza. And this 8 here, that's how many people you're sharing with. So I don't get this whole cake to myself. I have to split it into eight pieces. But this one over here on the right, same thing. So the denominator is the same, which means once you cut these cakes up, they're still going to look the same. Therefore, we have to ask ourselves, okay, well, the pieces are the same on both sides. They're about, you know, this big either way. So let's look at those numerators because that's the thing that's actually different about these two fractions. So the numerator, three versus one. The numerator refers to how many pieces you actually get. So pieces are the same size either way. On this side, we've got three pieces. And on this side, 1 eighth, we've got one piece. So which fraction is bigger, 3 eighths or 1 eighth? 3 eighths is the bigger fraction. So when we're talking about drawing the greater than or less than symbol, I like to think about it as if it's an alligator or a, um, a Pac-Man, like that. And that Pac-Man is going to eat the bigger fraction. So we're going to draw our symbol with its mouth opening towards the bigger fraction, which is the 3 eighths. Now remember, you can draw pictures like this anytime to help you, but if the denominators are the same anyways, then that means that both cakes are gonna have their pieces cut up the same way, so the pieces will be the same size. And then we're just asking, how many pieces do you get? If the cakes are gonna be the same size and the pieces are the same size either way, three pieces is better than one.